ChatGPT can do everything from producing sophisticated computer code to writing academic papers. Artificial intelligence is being increasingly used these days. I'm encouraging students to use AI. I wish I had this when I was in school. They called me a plagiarist. They tried to cancel me for using AI. He really needs to be punished for this. Most of the code is taken from other people. Pulling down the neural qubit. I did it. I Surat. I Surat just like. Five years later, everyone's doing exactly the same thing. Back in 2019, GPT-2 had just been released after a lot of fear-mongering by OpenAI. They claimed that it was too dangerous to release, that it would lead to misinformation, academic misconduct, financial fraud. Everyone was terrified of its potential. I wasn't though. I was not afraid. I was really excited by it. And after visiting a quantum computing facility called D-Wave in Canada, I was really excited by the potential of combining quantum computing with deep learning to find all sorts of new avenues of intelligence growth and reasoning growth. And I used GPT-2 to generate a research paper called the Neural Qubit, and it generated it very badly. It remixed a lot of different things. It set all of these hallucinations that then went on to become memes that I was ridiculed for, like logic gates, quantum doors, and it was total destruction. Here's the crazy part. I cited every source in the paper. I credited the original authors. I was transparent about using AI, but none of that mattered. Major AI researchers that I looked up to, like Jeff Dean, condemned me on Twitter. Demis Hassabis, CEO of DeepMind. All these people who I looked up to in academia were all saying that I was a plagiarist and I was a bad person and I was unethical and I was blacklisted from academia. I could never publish research in any of these journals. My interview with Lex Friedman and he deleted it, he scrubbed every mention of me from the internet, even the internet archive. And I had this talk with the European Space Agency that was canceled. And I was in talks with Netflix to get this documentary called AI for Humans out there that showed how people in developing countries are using AI to save lives and all these cool things that was canceled. And basically it just destroyed my career entirely because of that paper. But here's where it gets interesting. 2019, AI generated content is plagiarism. 2024, here's how to use ChatGPT for research. 2019, this destroys academic integrity. 2024, 20% of papers use AI assistance. 2019, he's cheating the system. 2024, AI is revolutionizing how we create. Today, the same VCs and tech leaders and researchers who condemned AI-generated content openly invest in and promote it. The same academic institutions that called it plagiarism now build tools to detect AI, to generate all sorts of academic information, and to ensure proper attribution, of course. But it sucks being misunderstood, and I was for years. I, I'm used to that, actually, since I was born. Growing up in Houston as an Indian kid in an all-white community and changing my name to Jason Rebell and then back to Siraj. It's been a journey of identity. Identity is fluid, I've learned, but rather than respond to the criticism, it was my bad. I chose to retreat. I chose to apologize and not defend and have conviction in my beliefs, but I was just a kid. I'm a lot more mature, have more emotional capacity now that I'm a 33-year-old man. You know, it's weird. It was weird watching the world catch up, but here's what nobody tells you about the future. It doesn't arrive all at once. It comes in waves, and the first wave always crashes the hardest. So to every creator, every innovator, every researcher, every developer out there who's pushing the boundaries. Document everything. Keep your receipts. Trust your vision. Have conviction. The world will catch up eventually. You know, five years ago, I saw that glimpse of the future and I was ridiculed for it. Basically, my career was destroyed, but here I am today. I'm doing great. Life is good. The AI community has caught up to this idea of using generative AI and the idea of plagiarism is an archaic concept and it will die and generative AI is already killing it as we speak. All ideas are remixed. All code is remixed. All research is remixed. People don't own ideas and generative AI has just shown people that. It's, it's always been the case. Five years ago, I saw a glimpse of the future. It cost me everything, but it taught me something more valuable. Being early doesn't make you wrong. It just makes you early. Until next time, happy generating.